This is our first project, actually. Adam approached me after uh, he had these ties with the uh, Enoa. So I told Adam about the novel I'm writing and he said, okay, that's, that's going to be our opera. I think here in Oslo was the first time we started to put things on paper, to put meaning, meaningful things on paper. It's incredibly quiet. I mean, for us who's living uh, in Israel and for me who's living in Jaffa, that's uh, the most quiet I have had in, in a couple of years. Uh, so it's great and, uh, and we were alone and we could take walks and we can talk. Jonathan and I like to work uh, mainly in the evening, so we, we, got, we kept our evenings to ourselves. During the day we went to Martin, we worked with our dramaturg, we uh, met people from, from the region. My job is to ask a lot of questions. Some of them are very difficult. And to help them through my questions to, to, to define their work in a very precise way. I think it was a good experience. I think um, someone who confronts you and, and make you understand what's important to the story and what's not, imp not important, what's funny to people who hadn't been uh, working on it for a year and a half. We needed to condense the major ideas and uh, understand what are the major ideas, what are the major themes, and fix a narrative uh, which is operatic. Approaching the opera, it was necessary to find one situation who'd be, that would be the main situation of the play. And then uh, Jonathan and Adam came up with this idea that everything is taking place inside the office of the Israeli Prime Minister. And uh, this was a crucial uh, decision that they, that they made in order to bring it to stage. It's been my first attempt at a libretto. So watching opera and being in this kind of um, musical atmosphere was helpful. I was a big fan, uh, both with the um, desire to write political music, but also to, to engage in political action. And I think uh, the war Equiem had a big part in, uh, in my uh, shaping as a, as a conscientious objector. So in a way, um, big influence by Britain. Opera is is not the same as writing a play. There's even something more condensed than, than theater, than a theater play. So being here and uh, around uh, this surroundings has been helpful. Watching uh, Billy Budd or uh, The Turn of the Screw was for me helpful and see how, how the librettists actually uh, took the novel and made it into a text. Before we came to, to Snape and, and to the, the Red House, we had just loads of material and uh, no, no story. Uh, and uh, here in, in, in Britain's studio, uh, we actually formed the whole thing. I see a relationship, I see a certain contrast with, um, let's say, Britain's operas who are um, very sophisticated and stay sophisticated all along and I think another aspect of Jonathan's work is that it, it does not to be sophisticated uh, at certain points and uh, that's something I'm looking forward to finding solutions in the score for. <laughs>